The guy doesn't know what he's doing. It's gross negligence, and honestly, it's worse. It's just sheer incompetence. I think we're going to be very good with the coronavirus. I think that at some point, uh, that's going to sort of just disappear, I hope. The nation's death toll now tops 135,000. There's no enthusiasm. He can't get people to show up a rally. They don't want him on the stump. Honestly, they don't even want him on the teleprompter because he can't even get that right. They delivered a swift and swip in, you know that, sweeping. And an ominous, really an, an ominous. This guy is the epitome of the swamp. President Trump's pardons. Most are white collar criminals with personal or financial ties to the president. Whether it's the brother, whether it's the sister, the entire family has enriched themselves. The Chinese government awarded Ivanka seven new trademarks. They can say one thing, do the other, and never get called on it. It's asinine. Midas Touch is responsible for the content of this advertising. I grew up in the church. I attended a private Christian high school. You look at a way someone lives their life and you believe them. Grab them by the pussy. You're a star, they let you do it. I was taught the principle that we should love our neighbors as ourselves. When he used force to clear Lafayette Park and to stand in front of St. John's to bludgeon and gas peaceful protesters for a ridiculous photo op. The moment that he held up that Bible, he revealed this president is using us. Christians have to resist being used to justify things that Jesus would never justify. Very fine people on both sides. Love is patient, love is kind, love does not boast. I am the chosen one. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. What's going on now is wrong. And as a Republican, as a Christian, we simply cannot allow this man to be reelected. This Tuesday night, the explosive new book by President Trump's niece, Mary Trump, several details already being reported tonight. And what ABC News has learned is in the book. Here's our chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl. She is the president's niece, the first member of his family to publicly turn against him. Mary Trump unloads in a new book the Trump family tried to stop. Too much and never enough. How my family created the world's most dangerous man. Mr. President, any, any reaction to your niece's book? Uh, any, any reaction to Mary Trump's book, sir? Mary Trump describes the president's father, Fred Trump, as a high-functioning sociopath who short-circuited Donald's ability to develop and experience the entire spectrum of human emotion. Ms. Trump, a trained psychologist, claims the president's father perverted his son's perception of the world and damaged his ability to live in it. Donald is not simply weak, she writes. His ego is a fragile thing that must be bolstered every moment because he knows deep down that he is nothing of what he claims to be. She adds, his cruelty serves in part as a means to distract both us and himself from the true extent of his failures. Mary Trump says the president's sister, retired judge Mary Ann Trump Barry, told her in 2015 she didn't take her brother's presidential campaign seriously, saying, quote, He's a clown. The White House today is hitting back. It's ridiculous, absurd allegations that have absolute no bearing in truth. I uh, have yet to see the book, but it is a book of falsehoods. Mary Trump, who is the daughter of the president's older brother, Fred Jr., sued the president and his siblings, claiming she was treated unfairly in her grandfather's will. The case was later settled. She has seen little of her uncle over the past 20 years, although she attended a dinner at the White House in early 2017. She acknowledges that the next year, she gave details of Trump family finances, including tax records, to the New York Times. And John, the White House tonight out with a new statement about Mary Trump's book? The statement from a White House spokesperson accuses Mary Trump of writing the book for financial gain. Regarding the specifics of what she wrote, the statement says, quote, the president describes the relationship he had with his father as warm and said his father was very good to him. He said his father was loving and not at all hard on him as a child. That, David, the statement from a White House spokesperson tonight. All right, John Carl with us live from the White House. John, thank you.
2017, I'm going to end where I began. Sure. You go, you see the president mm -hmm. in the Oval Office, and you say, tell him, don't let them get you down. Did you mean that? I did, actually. Um, he, that was four months in, he already seemed very um, strained by the pressures. You know, he'd never been in a situation before where he wasn't entirely protected from criticism or accountability or things like that. Um, and I think, you know, Michael Flynn had just had to be fired and from the get-go, it hadn't been going well in particular. Um, so I, I didn't mean it. Um, in some sense, you know, I didn't mean I want you to keep doing what you're doing and get away with it, but um, and also so much of what has happened since then hadn't yet happened. Um, and I just remember thinking he seems tired. He seems like this is not what he signed up for, if he even knows what he signed up for. And uh, I thought his response was actually um, more enlightening than, than um, my statement. Um, and he said, they won't get me. And so far, looks like he's right. And if you're in the Oval Office today, what would you say to him? Resign. <laughs>